SummerSlam is taking place in Las Vegas. Allegiant Stadium will be hosting the show. It is, in fact, on Saturday night, August 21st. And, I mean, that's the story. Yeah. It's also, from what they tell me, it's also not going to be a very long show. Well, they've got the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight that's going on the same day, same right. night, same time, basically. Well, not I think the same they time. want the show over before the main event goes into the ring. They told me that they wanted the show over in time for people to leave and get to uh, the MGM Grand or wherever the the Pacquiao fight is. I mean, it's it's a short distance; it's a walking distance, but they wanted to assure people that the show would be over and they would have time to get to um, the Pacquiao fight before the main event starts. Um, so I'm not sure when the main event starts or if they're going to hold up the main event, but to me that sounds like it cannot be a very long show uh, because uh, they're starting at 8 Eastern, 5 local time. So if they're over at 11, that means the Pacquiao fight would have wait, to start. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Why are they starting at 5 Pacific? Um, because it's 8 Eastern. I mean, they normally start at 4 Pacific. Yes, I saw. I saw that they announced it at 5. That's what surprised me. So there is... <laughs> I, 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 of course. Like I said, that's, they're going to have a shorter show than I, than you would think. But I mean, it's, it's just like... So every show starts at 4. And so the one show that you want everyone out in time to go to another show, you're starting an hour later than usual? Yes. I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask on Monday, because uh, I didn't know that time until they announced it today. So I was surprised. I thought that it would start an hour earlier, too. That's why I'm saying, like, they're not going to have time if they want people out. Because, I mean, they they were talking to me about this a couple days ago. And it's like, because I had mentioned the whole thing. I said, Saturday, and uh, you're going against the fight. Um, and the whole thing of, um, well, you know, Saturday isn't necessarily that bad because we've done WrestleMania on Saturday the last two years, and it did well. So, you know, because, again, when you take people out of their creature habit thing, you're going to get hurt. Now, of course, AEW was just done two, you had, had done everything on Sundays, and the last two pay-per-views didn't, were on, uh, moved to, I mean, on Saturdays, and the last two pay-per-views moved to Sunday, and they're the two biggest in the history of the company. So, um, but that may also say, hey, you know, wrestling fans are used to Sunday, and now you're going to Saturday. I mean, not that it's going to kill the show. It's not. I mean, the... The negative on it is that, uh, you know, you've got that that thing. And also, um, you know, I mean, the pay-per-views will be going on at the same time, but it will be the prelims and unboxing. It really is just the main event. So people, you know, and in Vegas, I mean, I've been to De La Hoya fights and things like that, and the place is empty until the main event. You know, like literally, you know, five minutes before the main event, the place is packed, and like 15 minutes before the main event, the place is empty. So people really, you know... There'll be there'll be some people in the building for those prelims, but as long that's that's their I that's the, basically what they said. Well, I mean, that, if it's anything like a, a UFC show, the main event would go into the ring around nine Pacific. So if you started SummerSlam at five and you ended at eight, I mean, that's going to be enough time. But yes, I mean, for um, SummerSlam, I don't know why she's not going four to eight. I don't have a good answer for you because I was very surprised to hear that. So what's the why aren't they running Sunday? Um, because the stadium asked them to run Saturday, okay. that which was before there was the fight. That's why. I got it. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if they prepare for a Raiders game or, or there's something going on. But the stadium, you know, originally it was Sunday, and then the, the stadium asked them to move to Saturday. And then there was a time where it wasn't even sure they were going to run because of the, uh, I presume because of the Pacquiao fight. That I don't know, but there was a point where it was not a sure thing that it was Vegas and it might even move, but. Because they had told everyone it was going to be Saturday by this point, they were, I guess, stuck with the day type of a thing. But they're in Vegas anyway, so uh, that's the situation they're going to go. I mean, from a local publicity thing, they're not going to be number two in town. But, you know, it's whatever. I mean, I think that it's one of the first events in the stadium. Um, I think there's a Raiders preseason game that precedes it. I think there's a soccer um, There's a Garth Brooks concert. There might be some other things. But it's among the first events and i think that's one of the things that they were looking for is that probably john cena's return seems to be the big thing on the show i don't know if that's enough but um they uh, the mentality was is that 
They didn't get the big gate at WrestleMania due to circumstances, and now they can. So they want to do a WrestleMania caliber show at a stadium. Um, it's indoors, so you don't have to worry about the Vegas heat because, yes, outdoors in Las Vegas in August um, at that time, even though it's not like the middle of the afternoon, if it's, for, if it's from 5 to 8, um, that would, in fact, be brutal. But it's indoors, so that's not an issue. I mean, it's it'll be brutal getting in to the stadium but but the state but watching the show itself will be just fine hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.